Hey YouTube, it's always real me and I'm doing part four of the 100 questions people don't ask tag. So this will be the last 25 questions. Number 76 to 100. 76, regularly burn incense. No, I'm very sensitive to smells. So um, people who burn incense and it comes out of their apartments, I just run by, I can't with the of anything that smells I, I really can't do I can't do perfumes I can do any of that stuff so 77 ever been in love uh, I think I have um, it felt like love but I don't know I'm not sure but I think I think I have 78 who would you like to see in concert oh I would like to see Pitbull Definitely, dale. Oh, I can't. So sexy. Um, Pitbull, Foo Fighters. Um, I don't know. Uh, probably like a variety concert, something like uh, Z100 Summer Jam or something like that, so that I will see multiple artists. One of those concerts would be awesome. Get them all done in one shot. Um, yeah. 79. What was the last concert you saw? I think that we are repeating questions here, people. <laughs> but I never, I've never seen a concert. I mean, the closest I think a concert I've been to was when uh, Cirque du Soleil, uh, the one Michael Jackson, uh, came out in New York City and I went because Michael Jackson, that's my poop. I love Michael Jackson music. I mean, whatever he did in his personal life, that's his, you know, he took that to the grave, but his music, his talent, it's amazing. Number 80, hot tea or cold tea? Um, I think hot tea. Like it was like tea bags and stuff, I would say hot tea. Um, I do like iced tea, but I don't think it's the same when it's like processed and you're buying it in the bottle, so. 81. Tea or coffee? I say tea, and it has to be caffeine-free. I'm really sensitive to that stuff. Um, I got to the coffee in high school, and it was really hard to get off of that. I got the headaches and everything, so I won't do that to myself again. 82. Sugar or snickerdoodles? Sugar. I don't really like snickerdoodles. 83. Can you swim well? Yes. I'm like a fish. I love swimming. It's my favorite pastime. Well, I mean when I could get in the pool or to the beach. I love swimming. It's my favorite. Um, 84. Can you hold your breath without holding your nose? Yes, I can. Once you're in the water, I mean, guys who always, people, if you always hold your nose, when you're in the water, just let go and it won't go up. Promise. 85. Are you patient? I'm extremely patient. I've had people all through school to this day that they try to like press those buttons and they try to get me, they try to get a rise out of me to see how I would look angry and it just doesn't work. So I think I'm extremely patient. 86, DJ or band at a wedding? Um, I say both. I would think a band could play while you're eating and then the DJ could really drop the beats and get the party started. 87, ever won a contest? Yes. Um, I mean, I was really lucky when I was younger and so when I would do like raffles and things in school I would usually um, be selected and I also like we had to sell chocolates in high school and whoever sold the most would get like a prize and I sold the most so but yeah so what happens when you have family that work in the hospital people love to buy chocolate um, Ever 88, ever have plastic surgery? No, but in about a year and a half, I'm hoping that will be changed and all of this extra skin I'm gonna have will be removed. Hopefully. 
um, 89 which are better black or green olives I think I prefer green olives just because I grew up with the flavor so black olives they're good but green olives are better 90 can you knit or crochet I can do both my mom um, I like to call her seamstress she sewed all my costumes my prom dresses um, she knits and she crochets and I also did a knitting class in high school, so I could do both. 91. Best room for a fireplace. Living room? Bedroom? I mean, fireplaces are amazing. They're so relaxing. So I would say if you could have one in your bedroom, if you could have one in the living room, in the den, uh, in the extra room, like, have them. It's awesome. Uh, not so good for your bill, but I maybe have electric ones. If you just fire ones and you have, you know, it just goes out the house. It's great. Um, 92. Do you want to get married? I do. I do want to get married. One day, hopefully, I will. Uh, 93. If married, how long have you been married? Not married. Still single. Single ready to mingle. <laughs> yeah. 94. Who was your high school crush? I will not answer that. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, I don't think that he knew, and if he does know, it's just inappropriate. So, no high school crush. I've had crushes on a lot of actors and things. Brendan Fraser. Um, was probably my number one crush in high school and you know Johnny Depp He's just hot all the time Yeah uh, 95 do you cry and throw a fit until you get your own way? No um, My mom I say trained us and if we asked for something more than once it was an automatic no so we learned that we just ask the one time, let the time pass, and she'll come to us and respond. So I never got into that crying until I got something. So, 96, do you have kids? I do not have kids. 97, do you want kids? Yes. I would, my preferred number would be five, but I just want children in general, so. Uh, 98, what's your favorite color? Um, it used to be blue, but now I'm going towards like purples and pinks um, and like turquoise color in general. I really like colors. Nice. 99. Do you miss anyone right now? Yes. I miss my mom. Um, she's still in New York and I'm in Seattle, so I miss her very much. And I also miss my best friend, Inoska, because she's in medical school in Florida, so I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, I miss a lot of people. My brother, my sister, my dad. Oh, <sighs> I don't like that question. It makes me think of all the people I miss. Hmm. Okay, 100. Something that happened to you in middle school. I mean, so many things happened in middle school, but... Oh, the, the coolest thing was in the sixth grade, I got to mummify a chicken. Yes. My teacher was obsessed with Egypt and hieroglyphics and all that kind of stuff. So we, she brought in a chicken from the supermarket, a thawed out chicken, and we went through the recipe of mummifying it. And to this day, when she has a class, she shows them the chicken that we mummified, which is so awesome. Um, but yeah, that was my... Oh, something that happened to me. Well, something I did. Something that happened to me. Um, in middle school, I broke my I broke my pinky. I was in like a Boy Scout, Girl Scout type of thing, and I was playing baseball. My hand went in the glove before the ball got to my glove. So my hand was in the glove, and then the ball hit my finger. And it just blew up and turned black like I really broke it and so if you can see see this is straight that's how it's supposed to look this one is curved out and if I push it this way then 
I could feel like where it's broken because they didn't set it right. They just put a band over it, which they should have done was put a band this way to straighten it, but they didn't. They just put it over. So that's something that happened to me in middle school. I hope you guys enjoyed all these questions. Uh, this was part four, number 76 to 100. Um, any comments, responses, questions, please leave them below. And like always, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.